Hey there. I wanted to, this is Wes from Wes's Wares and TBI. I wanted to do a quick little video here about uh, healing yourself from noise sensitivity. I got this from a functional neurologist. He has a book. <clears throat> I've talked to him online many times. He's a really great man. He has a brain injury himself. His name is Dr. Titus Chu. He's in Berkeley, California. He's had many, many brain injuries himself from sports and whatnot, and he's a functional neurologist. Uh, they look at the whole picture, body, brain, how everything interacts, your, your gut, you know, your movements, everything, your vision, so much stuff. His, his book is called Brain Save. Um, there's a lot of little handy little helpful tips in it. This one, what you do, like I was, doing things with earplugs. I have many different kinds. These are DB blockers. It's a company in town uh, that I deal with. Um, but other hearing places, the Hearing Connect and other places, they'll make these type of fitted earplugs as well. And what you do is you take music. No earplugs, you take music. Put, put, put the music close to your ear with the volume up, as loud as you can deal with it. Then do it with this ear. One ear isn't going to like it as much. Say this is the ear that doesn't like it, okay, leave that ear exposed, take your earplug, stick it in there. Then take the music and play it as loud as you can handle it for two to three times a day for about 20 to 30 minutes each time with this earplug in. And it doesn't have to be this kind of earplug, it's just that's what I use. You could use foam earplugs, you could use one side of an earmuff and just take the earmuff off of this side, you know? And then you, you listen to that, you do that for about 20 minutes a day, three times a day, and you do it for, for six weeks, in six weeks, if you haven't gotten better from it and the overstimulation and noise sensitivities, you will have noticed that it has balanced some of your neural network out and it is reduced at, at the very least. If you continue to do it a little longer, because I had to, I, I did it for about a year. I was pretty heightened for quite a while and my brain has some, some significant damage. So it brought it down to a more manageable level. And now I barely use these. I use these, I keep them in my pocket because, well, I'm, sometimes I pick up a tool. It doesn't, I don't do it very often, I don't do it for very long, but sometimes I do. And when I do, I'll stuff in an earplug. Oh, well, I'll stuff both of them in because I don't want to create hearing loss. I hear normal again. It also helped me with tinnitus. I don't have ringing in my ears. I can get it to come back. Not that I'm doing it to come back, but it comes back every now and then, and it usually only lasts for a few seconds, and I can usually make it go away by holding my breath and trying to, for lack of a better way to describe it, breathe out of my ears. Trying to pressurize, pressurize your head and release it through your ears, and that for me, and I know it won't work for everybody, but if you don't try, you won't know. And it's something you can do to help yourself with brain injury or PTSD or seizures. You know, uh, even chronic pain or just plain tinnitus. Most doctors will say there's nothing you can do to help yourself heal from tinnitus, but that's not necessarily true because that did it for me. I had it 24-7. I couldn't get rid of it. I couldn't stand the sound of my own heartbeat, you know, like the ego song. Can, can, can. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. And they were for me. They aren't anymore. I'm sending you all healing vibes. Well wishes. Where on?